Welcome to a lesson on circles. The goals of this video are to define a circle and the key features of a circle, as well as describe the features of two coplanar circles. A circle is a set of points in a plane that are the same distance from a point called the center. So here we see a blue circle. So here we see a blue circle where the center would be this point here. The radius is a segment from the center to the circle which we see here in green. The length of the radius would represent the distance from the center to all of the points on the circle. Now let's define several other key features of a circle. A chord is a line segment with the endpoints on the circle. So in this diagram here, notice how this purple segment has both endpoints on the circle and therefore this is a chord. A diameter is a chord that passes through the center. So we know from before this is the center of the circle and since this red segment has its endpoints on the circle and passes through the center, this red segment is the diameter. And you can probably notice that the diameter is twice the length of the radius. Next, a secant line intersects the circle in two points. So if we take a look at this orange line here, assuming that it's a line extending in both directions forever, it intersects the circle in two points, and therefore this would be a secant line. Now there's two more things we want to define. The next is a tangent line. A tangent line is a line that intersects the circle in one point. Remember a secant line intersects the circle in two points, but a tangent line intersects the circle in one point. Looking at this brown line here, notice how it only intersects the circle at this point here, therefore this brown line is a tangent line. And the point of tangency is where the tangent line touches or intersects the circle. So this black point right here is the point of tangency. Now let's talk about when we have two circles graphed on the same plane. Congruent circles are circles that have the same radius but different centers. So looking at these two circles, if the length of this radius is equal to the length of this radius, and the centers are obviously different points, then these are congruent circles. Concentric circles are two circles that have the same center. Notice how they share this point here as a center, but have different radii, and radii is the plural form of radius. So the length of this radius would not be the same as the length of the radius of the larger circle. So concentric circles may remind you of a bullseye, now when we graph two circles on the same plane and they intersect, there's a couple of different, there are a couple of things that can happen. One possibility is that they intersect in two points as we see here. Here's one point of intersection and here's another point of intersection. But it's also possible that two circles intersect at one point, which means the two circles would be tangent to one another. And when circles are tangent to each other, there are two ways they can be tangent. They can be externally tangent as we see here, and they could also possibly be internally tangent as we see here in this graph. So here we have two externally tangent circles and here we have two internally tangent circles. Now let's finish by talking about some characteristics when two circles don't intersect. They can still share a common tangent line as we see here on the left and here on the right. Here on the left we say that these two circles have a common external tangent line in blue, and here on the right we say that these two circles have a common internal tangent line. Notice how for the external tangent, the line does not cross between the two circles, but for the internal tangent line, it does. Thank you for watching.